You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 16 to 30. When Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do hear also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Capernaum. And he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, There were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over all the land. Yet, Elijah was sent to none of them except a widow at Sarephath in Zidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brody hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. Welcome back to our Daily Reflections. Today's Gospel episode begins with Jesus reading some verses from the Holy Scripture, which aptly conveyed the image of who He was. It read, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, set the people free from oppression to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. When the townspeople heard him deliver those words, the gospel says they were amazed at the gracious words that came out from his mouth. I am one to think that Jesus must have enunciated those words with so much feeling that his listeners were enormously impressed. For this, they spoke well of him. Why not? Jesus, after all, was indeed the Anointed One, and the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. The Father sent him to do a special mission, especially for the underprivileged. 
but their amazement was short-lived. Familiarity, confusion, and jealousy prevented them from recognizing Jesus as the Messiah. It was difficult for them to accept that their once playmate and son of a carpenter was more knowledgeable than they were. Where did he get all this? They began questioning his authority and honor. The people rejected Jesus. He must have read their minds and said, No prophet is acceptable in his hometown. Jesus annoyed them even more when he noted two instances in which the prophets Elijah and Elisha ministered miraculous acts of grace to Gentiles instead of Israel. His townspeople were furious because Jesus made them feel in contrast with the Gentiles whom God favored. Because of that, they drove him out of the town and tried to kill him. But the Gospel says he passed through the midst of them unnoticed and went on his way. At some point in life, we'll face this painful reality of rejection. Or has anyone discredited us? Did you allow others to knock you over or strip you and all your qualifications off? In hindsight, although we cannot take this thing out of this unpleasant situation, we can always stand our ground, believing that if God is with us, who can be against us? Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.